Well, Biden's decision, a political earthquake for the Democratic Party, stirring reaction locally and political organizations and everyday people here in the Carolinas all trying to figure out what's next. WCNC Charlotte's Anna King went to a black political caucus meeting earlier today where leaders there spoke to the change and what they plan to do next. Right, Anna? That's right. This planned event took on a whole new tone tonight. Caucus leaders shifting their attention as the race for the White House has changed. We always say it's the uh, most important election, but this truly is because democracy is on the ballot this time. Residents and organizations in Mecklenburg County. I was disappointed before I was going to ride with Biden, riding with Biden but uh, I was disappointed. Are reacting to President Joe Biden officially ending his run for the White House. That the Democrats are not united. I feel, and I even emailed some of them to say that if the other side can support a convicted felon, why can't we support a senior citizen? At some point in time, you have to step aside to allow better things to happen and to be a participant and not necessarily the leader. This was a big topic at the Black Political Caucus meeting Sunday night as leaders are now making plans to regroup. This time, this action more than ever is just a series of actions that should encourage people to get out and vote. With this historic shift, many say their concern now is making sure voters show up at the polls. The ones who we're trying to get to vote, they see all this confusion and they're saying, I don't want to be involved with that. And caucus leaders say they will continue to do what they can to ensure voters stay involved. For now, here live in Uptown, Anna King, WCNC Charlotte.